the Pipe Piper. Hamlin, a small town in Germany, is most famous for the legend of the Pipe Piper. No one knows if the story is true, but many people visit Hamlin to see the beautiful old town where the Pipe Piper is believed to have walked more than 700 years ago in 1284. In this story, we will read about a small town named Hamlin, which is in Germany. This town is famous for the legion of the Pied Piper. People cannot surely tell if the story is true or false, but many visit Hamlin to see the beauty of the town, where the Pied Piper walked in 1284, that is 700 years ago. Hamlin had a problem. Rats. They were everywhere. The mayor of Hamlin paid people to catch the rats, but there were just too many. They ate the food in the kitchen. They crawled over people as they slept. The mayor was worried. He did not know what to do. So everyone living in this town was suffering because of rats as they were too many in number and present everywhere. The rats ate the food in the kitchen and even moved slowly while the people slept. The mayor of the town, that means the minister, hired people to catch the rats, but sadly, no one could complete the task and this made the mayor to worry. The people were getting angry. You must do something about the rats, they told the mayor. But what can I do? Asked the mayor. Even my best rat catchers can't make the rats go away. If you don't get rid of the rats, we will choose a new mayor, the people said. Everyone was facing problems and therefore were very angry. They told the mayor to take action against the rats. But the mayor told them that he has already hired the best rat catchers and as they too failed, so what could he do now? But the people were not ready to listen anything and told him that if they don't get rid of the rats, then they will choose a new mayor for them. Just then, a strange person arrived in Hamlin. He was tall and thin with a long and serious face. He wore a coat of many colors and a tall red hat. In his hand, he held a long, thin pipe. The man walked straight to the mayor's office and knocked on the door. Who are you? asked the mayor. As they were having a talk, a strange man arrived in Hamlin. This man was tall, thin, with a long and serious face. He was wearing a multicolored coat and a red hat and even holded a long thin pipe in his hand. As he entered the mayor's office and knocked on the door, the mayor inquired as to who he was. I am the pipe piper, replied the strange man. I see that you have a lot of rats in Hamlin. If you pay me 500 kilos, I will get rid of all your rats. The man replied that he was the Pied Piper. He further added that he could see a lot of rats in the town and if the mayor pays him 500 guilders, he could help him get rid of all the rats. The mayor was amazed. How can you do that? He asked. Wait and see, replied the Pied Piper. Do you promise to pay me 500 guilders? Yes, cried the mayor. If you free my town of rats, I promise to pay you 500 guilders. The mayor was surprised to hear this and thus questioned as to how he can do that. The pipe piper was confident and thus asked him to wait and watch. But before that, he wanted the mayor to promise him to pay the sum he wanted. The mayor agreed and thus promised for the same. The Pied Piper lifted his pipe to his lips and blew. It was the strangest music anyone had ever heard. At first, nothing happened. But then, 
there was a rustling and a squeaking and a scurrying noise. Rats and mice came running out of the houses, jumping out of the windows, tumbling down steps and falling over one another. Big rats, little rats, fat rats, thin rats, they all rushed to gather round the strange piper. The pipe piper started his job and thus lifted the pipe to his lips and blew. A strange music which was never heard by anyone before. And at the beginning nothing happened. But after some time, different sorts of sounds were heard such as soft sounds and sounds of quick movements. They were the big, little, fat and thin rats and mice who came out of the houses, windows and steps etc. to gather around the pipe piper. He walked slowly through the streets and the rats followed him, squeaking and dancing to the strange music. The pipe piper went out of the town towards the river and stopped at the river bank. The rats rushed past him into the water. The strong current swept them away to the other side of the river. As the rats gathered around him, the piper continued blowing his pipe and started walking slowly through the streets. The rats followed him dancing and making different sorts of noises. Then the piper went out of the town and stopped at the river bank. And the rats rushed past him into the water and thus he was successful as the strong current swept away all the rats to the other side of the river. The people of Hamlin were overjoyed. The rats have gone, they cried. They threw their hats into the air and danced with delight. Then the pipe piper returned to the mayor. Now you must keep your promise, he said. I have freed your town of rats. You owe me 500 guilders. All of them were very happy as there were no more rats in the town. The Pied Piper now returned to the mayor and as per promise, he sent the mayor to pay him the sum that is 500 guilders because he was successful in moving apart all the rats away from the town. 500 guilders? said the mayor. That's a lot of money. You only blew your pipe for a few minutes. I will pay you 50 guilders instead. The pipe piper looked at the mayor angrily from under the rim of his tall hat. You promised to pay me 500 guilders, he said in a low, quiet voice. You must keep your promise. The mayor refused to pay as, according to him, the piper did nothing but only blew his pipe. So, 50 guilders was enough for him. Hearing this, the piper looked angrily at the mayor and uttered in a low, quiet voice that he must keep his promise. But the people of Hamlin started to laugh. The rats have all gone. What can he do to harm us? Give him 5 guilders and tell him to go back to the hills. The piper's eyes narrowed. If you break your promise, I will play a different tune, he warned. Five guilders, said the mayor, holding five gold coins in his hand. Take your money and leave. The people started to laugh at the piper and asked the mayor to pay only five guilders because the rats were already out and now the piper could not do anything to harm them. The piper wants to play a different tune if he breaks his promise. But the mayor did not give any attention and instead, paying five guilders, asked him to go back. The piper did not take the money. Instead, he lifted his pipe to his lips and blew. This time, he played a different tune. At first, nothing happened. But then there was a noise of shouting and laughing. Children came running out of the houses, leaping through the doorways, jumping down the steps and skipping along the street. Boys and girls of all ages rushed together round the strange piper. 
the piper did not touch the money and instead lifted his pipe thus playing a different tune this time at the beginning nothing happened but then there were noises of shouting and laughing all over children came running and jumping from all over and gathered round the strange piper let's see what happens now the pipe piper walked slowly through the streets of hamlin and the children followed him laughing and dancing to his music their parents were horrified stop don't listen to his music come back at once they cried but the children paid no attention then the piper walked slowly through the streets and the children followed him the parents were very shocked and asked them to stop but sadly the children didn't listen to them they followed the piper out of the town up a hillside and into a great cave neither the pipe piper nor the children were ever seen again so now we come to know that all the children moved out of the town they went up a hillside into a great cave along with the piper and from then on neither the piper nor the children were ever seen again only one little boy came back he felt cold and hurried home to get his coat then he ran back to catch up with the pipe piper and the other children but then he got to the cave the piper and the children had disappeared he burst into tears and walked sadly back to the town but then what happened was that a boy from amongst them came back home to get his coat as he was feeling very cold and after that he tried to run back and join his other friends but sadly they along with the piper had already disappeared he became very sad and in tears had to return back home the piper promised to lead us to a wonderful new country he said his music made me so happy now he has gone and all my friends have gone too the mayor held his head in his hands we have lost all our children because i broke my promise he cried the child was sad because he could not go to a wonderful new country along with his friends and the pipe piper on the other hand the mayor was upset because they lost all their children as he broke his promise and as a result he along with the others were punished